of success stories today we have with us vibhav and vibhav is now working with infosys as a data engineer so let us uh, get started and let us check with vibhav on how he has successfully crafted his journey into infosys as a data engineer yeah vibhav over to you uh there is a small correction barani i am working as a data engineer at sapient i was at infosys earlier then ah, okay. i switched to a new company sapient sure sure so extremely sorry about that because our folks have just mentioned infosys yeah, yeah. so how has your journey been uh, uh, you know viber to get into this company called sapient which is also a top notch company Yes, it's been good. Uh, well, I started my journey as a software engineer at Infosys. I was working as a PL SQL developer on uh, Oracle. So um, I used to work on Perl and uh, da- database procedures and packages. So that was my major work. Um, after doing so a bit of research, I came to know that that language and that. Uh, a uh, domain basically is uh, pretty outdated for today's standard so then i started to upskill and uh, i restarted doing research and i wanted i was uh, very interested in knowing about what is data analytics and data science and data engineer so i started uh, to do a little bit more research on uh, data data part and what is the what are the latest technologies uh, being used to handle data so that is when i came across uh, 360 digit, digit mg and i joined your course and uh, it was a very good introductory course where it opened so many of the domains uh, with which you can uh, specialize in a particular domain and go into uh, that particular job stream like for example if you are interested in nlp for example so you can uh, specialize and do uh, like expertise in that and go into a uh, job description which matches nlp so something like that uh, then the, that is where i 360 digit is where i started to explore on data and i got to know what and all has to be done on the data for today standard so that then i was introduced to data engineer Wonderful. data engineer then i thought like um, it is something similar to database handling what i was doing at infosys but with all the latest technologies so oh. right now i have upskilled myself uh, with azure microsoft azure as a data mm-hmm. engineer and i'm using uh, the services provided by azure to build data pipelines and uh, yeah make them report ready wonderful wonderful uh that that's so nice to know uh viber and one more question that i have is and probably the last question a lot of people are getting trained okay yes but only a few people are able to get into this field there are only a few people are able to crack the interviews so for mm-hmm. them what will be your guidance what will be your suggestion uh you know there might be a lot of suggestions you if you might want to share one two or three suggestions on how can they actually get into this field of data uh okay. what, the, for the students who are currently undergoing the training and for the students who have completed the training for both of them what would be your suggestions yeah okay um okay so uh, as i told you this course so uh, which i i took the course from 360 360 digit mg it was an introductory course so it only showed me uh the what and all is possible in each uh, modules of data so after after learning that you have to decide on yourself what you are actually interested in for example you can be interested in ml ai so something like that and maybe ci cd pipelines or data engineer so th- there has to be a particular domain which you have to be interested in and uh, you ha- there is no other way uh, like uh, but it's all pure on uh, doing research on the internet and you need to find out what is your interest areas so once you get your interest areas you need to go deep into that and uh, know about what sort of questions are asked in the interviews 
so um you uh, as uh, for for the interviews that is another uh, uh, challenge again as we i was an experience like four and a half years before i switched into data engineer so they used to expect a lot from me so the, the there's there's that catch again so either you have to become so uh, so knowledgeable uh, uh, studying that for a particular domain or you had to compromise on the package what you what uh, they they are offering and go into a ju junior level so that is there and uh, basically uh, if you give like four or five interviews you will know the sort of questions they will ask so uh, once you get a hang of that uh, you will probably be able to get into at least one or two companies because uh, data engineer as i know is a very trending uh, job job set so um, there are a lot of companies which are offering the jobs as a data engineer and a data science so there is no shortage of uh, opportunities is what i say you just have to uh, uh, find them I think you're on mute, Barani. So sorry. Yeah, well said, uh, Vaibhav. Absolutely, there is no dearth of openings at all by any means. And now we have revamped the data engineering program also, and it is uh, accredited by State University of New York, USA. Uh, mm -hmm. We included as part of State University of New York, one gets to learn Azure data engineering, which is aligned with the Azure data engineering certification program. And also Google Data Engineer, uh, you know, certification program. It is aligned with both. And the beauty is that you also get State University of New York certificate alongside this. So it, there's a slight revamp just happened. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vaibhav, uh, for your time and all the very best. I'm certain that you are in an amazing field of data engineering. And uh, in comparison to data science, data engineering, you know, the the demand is more but the supply is less that means people can expect very good salaries you know if they want to venture into that in comparison to data science that's my research and my take thank you yes, so much sir. for your time and all the very best